The Time and Labor Fluid Work Center leverages the existing Fluid Work Center framework to provide real-time information and easy navigation to time and labor-related processes. It also provides an organized view of an existing classic work center with items like My Work showing items that require attention. Time and Labor Managers can access the Fluid Work Center using the Team Time tile on the Manager Self-Service homepage. Time and Labor Managers can access the Time and Labor Work Center through the Team Time Navigation Collection. The Time and Labor Fluid Work Center page supports display and filtering options, providing flexibility to personalize the data based on your requirements. Under the Filtering Options, you'll find the Manager Search options that are used throughout Time and Labor that your organization has configured. PeopleSoft delivers the page lets contained in the My Work section. The Links, Queries, and Reports and Processes sections can be configured by your organization. The My Work section contains Alerts, Exceptions, and Approvals page lets, bringing focus to situations that may require attention. The Alerts Collapsible section contains seven alert categories. The alerts can be configured and have multiple alert types under each category. Select an alert category and click on the Actions icon in an employee row to access the related actions for that alert type. After selecting multiple alerts, use the bulk action to complete actions for multiple alerts at a time, like Mark Reviewed, Mark Complete, and Notify. Use allowable exceptions related actions for a manager or administrator to allow or manage exceptions. Review and approve the pending approvals using the corresponding time approval AWE pages. Administrators can access the Work Center through the Workforce Administrator homepage. Additional options for time reporter status and attendance are available for administrators. Time Reporter status allows the administrator to see the processing status of time reporters, and the Attendance section shows the individual violations as well as any actions that were warranted. This completes our demonstration of the Time and Labor Fluid Work Center. In HCM Update Image 35, external applicants can now see the acknowledgments that they agreed to during registration or while applying for jobs. View Consents on the Careers page. Please note, you must configure the Acknowledgement Framework to create these consents. The My Account Information page that includes the user's profile and contact details now has a Registration Acknowledgement section that lists the registration consent the user agreed to. If there are historical agreements, the applicant can view those using the View History link. The My Job Applications page also has an Application Acknowledgement section that lists the consent or acknowledgement that the user agreed to while applying for jobs. This completes our demonstration of the External Applicant View of Consents and Agreements feature. In response to the 503 form revisions by the Office of Federal Contract Compliance Programs, PeopleSoft HCM pages for U.S. employees and applicants to enter self-identification of a disability are current. Employees record this information on the Voluntary Self-Identification of Disability page in Personal Details. The revised form includes the employee ID, updated text, and a more inclusive list of disabilities. Applicants are asked to voluntarily enter disability information at the pre-offer and post-offer steps when applying for a job. This completes the Voluntary Self-Identification of Disability Form Feature Description. With PeopleSoft HCM Image 35, in addition to the web access, you can now interact with the Employee Directory Assistant chatbot through text messaging applications on your mobile device. 
Once your organization gets a Twilio number, employees can send text messages to this number to interact with the Employee Directory Assistant chatbot. After signing in with your PeopleSoft credentials using the link prompted in the text messaging application, you can converse the same way you would with the web-based Employee Directory Assistant chatbot. All the features of the web-based Employee Directory Assistant chatbot will be available when accessed using the text channel as well. So you can send a text asking for general profile information, job title, business address, email address, phone, manager and direct report for any employee in your organization. PeopleSoft Chatbot Integration Framework provides the supporting infrastructure for the secure integration between PeopleSoft, Twilio, and Oracle Digital Assistant. You can configure PeopleSoft delivered chatbots and the ones that you build to be accessed using the Twilio-based text channel. Also, PeopleSoft now supports ODA provisioned Web SDK 20.3. This completes the Chatbot Updates, Twilio Channel, and Web SDK Update feature description. Image 35 delivers new fluid pages for birth and adoption dates within the Life Events Activity Guide. When an employee enters and submits the birth or adoption date, the benefits administrator receives an alert in the notifications area and an email notification if the Notify Administrator option is selected in the Life Events Rules setting. The benefits administrator receives an action notification as well as an email notification if the Proof Required option is selected. This completes the modernization of Birth and Adoption Pages feature description. Image 35 delivers a new benefit statement type for submitted enrollment. The new submitted enrollment statement is automatically saved when the employee submits the enrollment. Also, the benefits enrollment status now has a timestamp to show when it was submitted. If the employee makes a change after submitting, a new status for changed resubmit required is shown. This completes the benefit preview statement enhancements description. With Image 35, PeopleSoft HCM Time and Labor delivers updates to time pages displaying the reported time total with different time units, like hour, amount, and unit of work. The Time Summary tile displays the time total in units, and the number of additional time reports are shown with a link at the bottom of the tile. The employee can see the reported time totals in hours, amount, and units in the main header and week headers on the Enter Time page based on the type specified in the Time Reporting Code setup. You can also see the new reported time totals in the header, at the day level, and in the footer box on the Time Summary page. The manager can see an employee's time total in hours, amounts, and units on the Enter Time page. The same information is also available in the header at the day level and in the footer box on the Time Summary page. This completes the reported time totals for units and amounts feature description. PeopleSoft HCM delivers Fluid Chart Field Search to support Fluid pages with advanced search capabilities. Select the Advanced Search link to open the Chart Field Detail page. Use the Combination Codes tab to search the GL Combination Code or any other field, such as Account. Or use the Speed Types tab to search for chart fields using PeopleSoft Financial Speed Types. Time and Labor users can now report time against chart fields in Fluid using Enter Time, Report Time, Weekly Time, and Quick Fill pages. Select a task group enabled with Chart Field to report time. Use the Chart Fields link to open the advanced search for combination codes and speed types. 
Chart Field Search is also available to all types of time reporters using a mobile device. You can see the chart fields associated with the selected task group on the Weekly Time Entry page. This completes the Fluid Chart Fields feature description. On the Site Setup page, Recruiting Administrators can now set the Job Search Result Display to Grid View, List View, or both. If both views are chosen, you can select which view will be the default for the user. Once you've completed the setup, the views are available for use in the Search Jobs page. If both the Grid and List Views are selected, the candidate can toggle between the views. This completes the Job Opening Additional View Enhancement description. We've only shown you the highlights of the features in this PeopleSoft update image. For more information about these features and the other enhancements, see the CFO tool, the update image overview on My Oracle Support, and go to the PeopleSoft Information Portal for updates.